switching mode power supplies it's a buck converter we will talk today about switching mode power supplies or uh, we call it smps switching mode power supply buck, buck converter before we proceed please like subscribe so we can always bring you value uh, added uh, videos uh, and uh, youtube videos okay please uh, like and subscribe thank you very much this uh, little guy here uh, this is the switching mode power supply it's a uh, power management uh, ic ship okay it's a uh, lm2596 and i use it a lot in in my designs mainly actually to save power on a handheld battery operated devices it's about in in low volume about two dollars of course you can go much uh, lower than that in high volume you can go as low as maybe one dollar and fifty cents something like that or even lower if you buy very large uh, quantity of uh, those little guys the rest is very cheap you know you can get the board for cheap uh, this is how this is how the the buck converter operates by the way this is the pdf file it's uh, mine i made it for you especially guys and i will leave the link to download this paper for free uh, as you wish for your convenience okay so please look at the either description or first comment of the video so you can link to the free uh, pdf file uh, pdf uh, like a uh, sheet okay so uh, or flyer whatever right so as we all know usually we have here uh, the in the buck converter it converts the high voltage relatively high voltage to low voltage so when we say a high voltage relative to the output or the output is relatively smaller uh, than the input so the buck converter actually drops down the voltage from high relatively high to relatively low why don't we use the other kind of uh, 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 you know like uh, the voltage regulators which are the linear okay like uh, lm30 uh, uh, you know like, you know the the 5 volts 9 volts 3.3 uh, the reason we don't use the linear because linear consume a lot of uh, energy and for battery oper operated devices that's gonna uh, be very heavy on current consumption and thus converting the energy within the battery into heat and draining the battery very fast that's why that's why many of those devices actually i work with are battery operated for example this is a security system okay this is one of security systems it works on uh, switching mode power supply it's buck converter also right it uses uh, 4.5 volts and drops it down to 3 volts you can lo use as well uh, low low uh, drop output i have i was working a few days ago i uh, i i put it back in the lab right now i'm on my bench so uh, i'm not going to leave the this video tube uh, the you know the video taking so i will i will show it maybe some later time it's a uh, low drop output uh, if you want to uh, convert high uh, like a, a voltage to slightly lower voltage so you use uh, loader ldo but in this case we are using a switcher okay the way it works as you probably many of you know is that this switch is connected to uh to a timer it, it it turns on and off on and off and usually here we either use like th this one here we call it the upper side uh, uh, mosfet and this is the lower side mosfet or transistor or switch you know mosfet is like switch actually it turns on and off the circuit this is off this is off so those are mosfets usually when the upper when the upper switch is uh, upper relative to ground when the upper is the uh, uh, switch is left as transistor mosfet or whatever right and the lower is replaced by a diode a shutkey diode shutkey because it's it has very low forward uh, voltage drop right then we call it is synchronous okay uh, I, i'm sorry uh, when the diode is in here asynchronous okay or non-synchronous but when that when at, when this transistor in this low side is replaced by a diode okay we call it asynchronous right now because we have two switches it's uh, operating in synchronous mode okay so like all of those details i i really like spent some time 
and uh, I let, I gave you a, like uh, an example with, with numerical values how to select your components for designing your own your own power supply so i have all the formulas in, in this sheet and as i said i will leave it for you in i will leave the link for you uh, in in the either in the comments or in the description of this video okay so this guy this guy here lm2596 is operating in asynchronous mode asynchronous asynchronous means that we are replacing this low switch transistor with a diode reverse diode uh, uh, yeah reverse diode reverse bias diode or like something similar to reverse diode okay so it makes it asynchronous the reason the reason why asynchronous is uh, is is used is to in, in ensure that this system the whole system actually enters into what is called what is called continuous conduction mode okay Otherwise, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be continuous. It's gonna be discontinuous conduction mode. But for, con uh, you know, I will explain, like I already explained in this sheet, what's the difference between uh, DCM and CCM. CCM means continuous conduction mode. So, so I'm not gonna explain everything in one video because it takes some time. But I will leave this, as I said, you know, I will leave the link for this sheet for you in the uh, comment below or uh in the description okay so in here this is when the upper switch is turned on and the uh, lower switch is turned off and this is like the opposite vice versa and i laid down all the equations for example to con you have fixed input voltage to control the output you just control the the duty cycle okay and the duty cycle actually if you look if you look at the that data sheet for this from texas instrument lm2596 you find guys that uh, here you have actually you have an oscillator okay 150 kilohertz oscillator it generates this uh, a triangular wave or uh, like a sawtooth wave okay it passes to the comparator and by adjusting by adjusting here let me show you by adjusting this by adjusting this potentiometer, 50 kilo ohm uh, potentiometer, in, on the schematic, it is this one here. Let me show it to you. So this is the potentiometer. When you adjust the potentiometer, you change the voltage on the output, uh, on the output pin of this one here, of this uh, switching uh, uh, buck converter, okay? You, you change the duty cycle, and when you change the duty cycle, actually, uh in in here when you change the duty cycle in here when you change the duty cycle you are actually changing the output voltage when you use the capacitor to smoothen the the gaps between those square waves okay so that's how it happened actually so to control the the duty cycle of this uh, of those waves square waves okay all what you have to do is just change the duty cycle uh, to, to change the DC value of, of the output voltage, to change the DC value, because remember, this is DC, DC to DC converter. It's called DC to DC converter. To change the output voltage, V output, all what you have to do is just change the duty cycle. When you change the duty cycle, then you change the output voltage, okay? Since the input voltage is fixed, and uh, and you can change the duty cycle, so thus you can control the output voltage. Okay, how you control the output voltage? Very simple. Uh, with the feedback, what we have, what we call is feedback. This is the feedback. Okay, pin four. The feedback actually goes to the midpoint of the variable resistor. And by the way, you know what? You can exchange, replace, but you have to be expert at doing that. You, you can replace this uh, potentiometer or variable resistor with digi, digital uh, potentiometer or digipot. We call it digipot and have it controlled via microcontroller. And you know what? Then you can control the voltage, the output voltage via, uh, via, uh, uh, via the digipot because microcontroller can connect to digipot and then thus now the the microcontroller can control the output voltage because this one will change the duty cycle when you change the this duty cycle uh, via the feedback then the output voltage will change this is the output between those two pins between this pin okay which is at the output of the inductor and the ground as you see here actually 
So this is the point I'm talking about, the volt output voltage. This is the filtering cap. This is the inductor. This inductor actually is this one here. This is the one, okay? This is the one. So this is the inductor, and we, uh, this is the, the same inductor here, which is actually this inductor here, okay? We are currently using 10 micro Henry. Okay, that's for L1. So by by controlling the the uh, hand uh, the hand uh, operated uh, uh, potentiometer or uh, digital part okay potentiometer then you can change the voltage by changing the duty cycle and how that work uh, we'll go, let's go back to again to where we came from from here okay as you can see this oscillator actually uh, generates 150 kilohertz okay and the frequency this one here generates a uh, square or uh, like a, uh, a triangular or so tooth wave okay when when you, when you change the value of the resistor uh, connected at the feedback which i show you a while before right it goes to the amplifier and then this uh, this analog signal which is obtained by changing the potential meter is compared against the rising and falling edges of this sawtooth uh, wave, right? And and based based on where which level is come because this is negative and this is part of this inverting this non inverting, based on which at at which point among those uh, varying voltage levels uh, are equal when when the voltages are equal then it chops it off from here or here or here or whatever right so if it chops it at, at here then the duty cycle will be 50 percent at here about at here it's gonna be about uh, 75 80 and 90 and this is 100 percent duty cycle okay when when we chop it off at here then it's zero uh zero duty cycle or the dead output zero voltage at the output so it depending on where we chop off the uh where wh where the where the uh value that's coming that's appearing at the inverting and non-inverting meet if they meet here it's uh, zero if they meet here 50 percent if they meet here 80 90 100 percent uh, and then it drops down okay so the, the con this controller is very smart it's it's uh, done by texas instrument and uh, you don't have to uh, redesign the wheel because the wheel is already designed for you all what you have to do just put uh, all what you have to do is just read the data sheet this is the data sheet okay and uh, try to understand uh, how how those components work like we have to select we have to be careful selecting the inductor because it it does affect on the ripple current and it does affect on the output so we have to be wise uh, of course like all of those mathematical equations are laid down in this paper as i said i will give it to you for free uh, and you will find it either in the description or the first comment in the video of the video okay so please go back to the video to find out how you can select this inductor how to select the, this capacitor, how to select the output capacitor, how to se select the inductor, right? And uh, all what you have to do is uh, just go back to the data sheet and read more about this thing here. It's really very easy to, to learn. You just need some time, right? And then put the parts all together and bingo, you got yourself something like this, okay? Uh, again, this is in, in uh, low volume, about $2, but if you want to go lower in price, then you have to purchase more of those units to, uh, to you know, to, uh, to get uh, more affordable or cheaper price, okay? So in this potentiometer, that's what's going to change the DT cycle, okay? As you see now, the LED is on. I can dim it from here, okay? I will rotate it. Uh, uh, like counterclockwise as you see the voltage is very low now it's about two volts like about uh, yeah I'm, i'll bring it to two volts okay now it's two volts here two volts this is two volts uh, this is the dimming of L led at two volts let me dim it higher so higher this is about 2.4 2.5 let's go to three volts okay three volts three now 2.9 uh it's close enough as you see it's now mo more brighter the led is brighter okay i can go uh more bright but i don't want to blow it up okay so uh 
you know, again, the reason I'm using this is because I can get precise output voltage at the output of the converter. So I can uh, get exactly the voltage I'm looking for. Sometimes if you want to power up some, some uh, peripherals, then you use transformer and uh, come up with what's called uh, an isolated buck converter. Isolated means that the output uh, 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 voltage uh, supply and the ground, out, uh, output the ground, have different ground than this circuit. And sometimes we need that, right? Uh, we need that to, to prevent interference of two, uh, of two circuits having two different grounds. So that's why sometimes we use isolated transformers. This is another topic. We, maybe we, we, if we have time, we'll talk about it later. But now, let's talk you know let's finish up uh, our uh, our uh, job here this one here is can be used mainly why do we use uh, buck converter the main reason we use buck converter is to say to enable uh, our uh, design our uh, uh, you know engineering de designs that operate on the battery or battery operated designs to last longer on single battery cell so this is the this is the battery. It looks ugly, but I I use it for for my own lab actually, right? So, as you see here, you see, uh, I can from here turn it off. Now on, oops, the the multimeter is on off. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, on. Now it's off. See, this is the LED. This is the LED, this is the multimeter, and this is the switch. I'm going to turn on the switch. Okay, now it's on, and the voltage is about 3.5, and I'm going to turn it off. Off. See, it's almost zero volt now at output, at the output. Back on. Okay, now on. Okay. And, and uh, yeah, like if you have any question, guys, uh, please leave uh, your comment and I will be more than happy to, to help you design your uh, buck converter, switching uh, mode power supplies, or even like a boost converter. Because I do have uh, boost converters. I use them to, to, um, to generate higher voltages, but of course the current will be lower because of mainly of... Uh, 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 law of uh, energy uh, con conservation or con uh, conservation of energy the output power you see the output power this is the input power here and this is the output power so v input v input and v output the power at the input delivered uh, at the input of the circuit always shall be equal to the power uh, uh, delivered to the output right so since the the law of conservation of energy say that the input power always equal output power so and since the power equal current times voltage or vi voltage times current thus and the power uh, are equal at input and output thus if the the output voltage is higher than the input so the output current will be lower than the uh, input current and vice versa if the if the uh, uh, the current output output is higher than the current at the input, then the voltage will be lower. Okay, so always remember that that uh, power at the input is always equal to power at the output. It can it can never happen that the output power be, will be uh, will be uh, larger than the input power. It's it's not unless unless there is some weird phenomena. God knows what's that. You know, maybe the aliens came from space, or God knows what. You know, it's crazy things. You know, but remember that the input power is always uh, equal to the output power. And again, you will find all the equations here very easy to understand. Okay, I will uh, give you this one here, the the link to this sheet, and uh, uh, in the comment or in the description of the video. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, this presentation and uh, I hope that you use it uh, because I use it frequently. I, I use this ship uh, frequently in, in my designs and while for while prototyping as well. It's very versatile and it's very uh, useful because you see like what I did here, I have fixed input. Okay, the, 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 this is now I'm delivering uh, six volt. Oh, by the way, this uh, here, let me show you something actually. Um, 
the the uh, yeah this one here okay the input the input for lm lm2596 uh, the input can range anywhere between a th uh, like 3 volts to 40 volts so 3 to 40 volts which is very good okay and the output uh, can range anywhere between 1.25 volts 1.25 volts to 35 volts notice that in the buck converter the output is always lower than the input since the uh, output voltage is lower right then the current will be uh, uh, will be relatively higher than the input okay and for this is what this is where the inductor come into play okay uh, again all of those me mecha the mechanism of how the buck converter works is all explained in here just help yourself go to the link download it and enjoy it if you have any question please uh, don't forget to ask and uh, please as always like subscribe and uh, thank you for, very much for watching and i uh, I hope you, I wish you very happy and pleasant Monday. Bye now.